Hi everyone, welcome back to the Java class. So let us continue the journey to learn exception handling in Java programming language. In today's session, you will learn the different exceptions and its subclasses. So let us explore the exception hierarchy with the help of this diagram here. You can see the exception hierarchy in Java is the rooted in java.lang.throwable class. So what is a throwable class? It is a super class of all kind of errors and exceptions in Java programming language. You can throw only those exceptions object that are derived from the throwable or its subclasses. The throwable class has two subclasses. The first one is exception. Second one is error. Let us understand what is an error class. Error class defines exceptions related to Java runtime environments and is intended for errors from which the recovery is not expected or possible. For example, out of memory error and internal error. The Java virtual machine typically uses these type of errors to indicate a serious problem that are not intended to be caught and handled by an application. So this is about a error class. The second one is an exception class. The exception class represents the condition that a program should handle. It has many subclasses like class not found exception, input output exceptions, file not found exceptions, and many more. It has one more subclass that is runtime exceptions, and it has many subclasses. So if you will observe that, except runtime exception class and its subclasses, all classes belongs to the checked exceptions or these exception classes are known as checked exception class. You can see in this picture and the classes like runtime exceptions and all its subclasses are known as the unchecked exceptions. So in this session, you will also learn what is checked exceptions and what is unchecked exceptions with the help of a programming example. So let us understand what is a checked exceptions first. So here you can see we have written a small programs where we have added a method. Method name is is eligible for voting or not that will check the eligibility criteria for what or not. Inside a main function we are trying to take the input from the user using input stream reader or buffered reader class. So let us take the input from the user. So here I am just taking the input using a method read line of buffered reader class and this read line function will take the input in the form of a string so we have to convert it into integer also using integer dot parseint method and will store in a variable age of integer type and here we are just calling this function is eligible for voting and we are passing this age so here you can see read line there is a compile time errors and whenever you will run this program let's see what will be the output of it so here the compiler will show some error and what is the error here the exception in thread main java.lang.error unresolved compilation error so this is a compilation error and it is unhandled exception type io exception so this io exception is a type of checked exception so let us understand what is a checked exception. So you can see here the checked exceptions are those exceptions which are checked during the compilation of a program and that are checked by the compiler, ensuring that these exceptions are explicitly handled. So these type of exceptions are known as the checked exceptions. So here in this program, you can also see Whenever you will compile this program, the compiler is showing the compilation problem because it is generating a unchecked. This is generating a checked exception, not unchecked. So IO exception is the checked exceptions that is checked during the compilation of a program. So you need to manage it and you need to handle it. So these are the exceptions that must be either caught or declared in the methods throws close right so in this session also you will learn how to use throws keyword to manage these type of checked exceptions also so i exception is known as the checked exceptions okay so let us see how to manage it okay so to manage these type of check, checked exceptions we have two different ways let me just show you here in this tutorials so let us just go down 
and you can see how to handle the checked exceptions we have two different ways using a close keyword and using a try and catch block so let us understand one by one how to use throws and how to use the try catch block to manage the exceptions so the throws clause is used in a method declaration to indicate that the method may throw one or more exceptions let me show you how to use it so you can see here the Compiler is providing some suggestions to quick fix these type of errors. The first is add throws declaration. The second is surrounded with try or multi catch. Third is surrounded with try and catch here, right? So let us understand how to handle it. So using the first option available, add throws declaration. So here you can see it has added the throws keyword, the throws statement, and two exception classes number format exceptions and input output exceptions so this these two exceptions has been added with the throws keyword automatically by the eclipse so number format exception is not a checked exception it is a unchecked exception so let me just remove it maybe later we can i will show you how this will be used so i have just written a small statement that is throws i exception along with the main calling function. So now the compiler is not complaining. Let us run this program. Let us see what is the output of it. So here you can see it is asking for the age like 19 you have entered and it is showing a message. The person with age 19 is eligible for voting. So you will run it again, right? You will enter like some age like 12 and it will show the person with age 12 is not eligible. So this is the method one to manage the checked exception. So let me just remove this part. Again, the compiler is complaining. Means you have to handle the exceptions type that is IO exceptions. So it is suggesting the second way surround with try or multi catch. If you will just select this part, you can see it has added the try block and the catch block. Inside a catch block, it has added two exception classes, number format exceptions and input output exception class so here you can display some statement also let me write some statement here the statement is like this one please enter a numeric value right if you will enter a non-numeric value your exception will be handled by the number format exception but this number format exception is not a checked exception so you can use checked or unchecked together no issue in it inside a try and catch so let me just run this program and you will see what is the output of it right so here you will enter age like 15 so there is no problem it will display message not eligible but whenever you will entered a like a string in place of a numeric value it will show the exception here right you can see it is showing the exception that is print enter a numeric value and again it is just showing the complete stack trace that is the long information using this method e dot print stack trace so if you will use this method it will print the throwable and its back trace to the standard array stream means this method will display the long information what is the region behind the error you can see for the input string high it is a exception that is number format exception right where is the exception or why it is exception because it is trying to convert this value into the integer that's why it is the exception is coming it will just make this line as a comment it will display simple message please enter a numeric value just run this program and here you can see if you will enter the non numeric you will see the exception is handled please enter a numeric value the person with age 0 is not eligible so this is the second way you can manage the exceptions in java programming language okay so let me just undo the changes right let me just undo the changes or let's try the third suggestion which is providing by the eclipse automatically next is surround with try and catch whenever you will click on it you can see this is a try block that has added the statement where the exception will be generated 
and here it has added two exceptions classes number formed exceptions and the io exception class right so guys this is the way now your exception will be managed and will be handled properly right so whenever you will run this program you will enter some value that is 67 it will display the person is eligible or more conditions you can add in the method also if you will enter the non numeric value that is high it will display the person with age 0 is not eligible because the age is not set you have entered a string that is high and it is showing the complete stack trace okay so now it is generating number format exceptions and it is just showing that complete stack trace and this is the way to manage the exceptions so you can remove this part also or you can just add some statement inside it let me just show you so you can understand in easy way right so like previously we have done okay so you can see here uh, you can drop a message please enter a numeric value right so you will run this program and you will see what is the output you will enter high here it will display message please enter a numeric value the person with age 0 is not eligible so guys i hope you understand what is checked exceptions and how to manage it so again i am just telling you that checked exceptions are those exceptions which are checked during the compile time of a program right and it is a it is mandatory for a programmer to handle the exception and if you will not handle the compilation time will occurs and again if you will go to the hierarchy of an application hierarchy of an exceptions here you can see that is the checked exceptions are the object of the exceptions class or any of its subclasses excluding runtime exceptions on the left side you can see these are known as the checked exceptions so guys this is the way how to handle the checked exceptions in the programs using pro close and using try catch so i have added many examples here you can just go through it okay using try catch also and let me just show you what are the different checked exceptions so this is the list of checked exceptions you can do practice of it and you can learn about it in the next session we will learn what is unchecked exceptions and how to handle the unchecked exceptions so guys thanks for watching in the next session we will come how to handle the unchecked exceptions bye bye for now have a great day